Hey everyone, a bit different this week because I'm not actually going to take any photos. I had planned to, I've come to a local area, to some woodland, and the forecast yesterday was saying there was going to be some fog. And I think there is the tiniest bit of fog, but it's not enough really to do woodland photography. You really need fairly dense fog to cut out all of that chaotic background, all the branches and the leaves and really make your foreground subject trees pop out from that background and it's, yeah, it's just not dense enough there's just the tiniest bit left so I'm not going to take any photos today <laughs> and um, instead I'm just going to talk about my channel um, what I've got planned really for this year and also what you want as a viewer because um, I do quite a lot of stuff on my channel uh, all around photography of course, but that could be landscape, could be macro, a bit of street, editing, all kinds of stuff as you know if you're a regular viewer. And it's kind of important for me to do what I like doing because <laughs> if I don't like what I'm doing I'm not going to do it. Um, so to some extent, you know, I'm going to be choosing what I'm doing anyway. But I thought it'd be interesting to see what you lot as viewers and subscribers uh, what you like so I'm probably going to make a poll or something on YouTube and I'll put that up but you can leave comments on this video as well um, you know what do you prefer do you prefer the landscape stuff or the editing or street macro reviews um, or have you got some ideas for videos types of videos that I haven't done put that in the comments as well that's it Oh, it is. And say hello to all the subscribers. Hello. <laughs> so obviously you don't have to have fog to do woodland photography. In fact, you can get some really good woodland photography without fog, but I've photographed this woods so often. <laughs> I don't need another hundred photos of it unless there's some uh, special conditions going on. So I'm fine with that, I'm enjoying just being out. And also while I'm here I can scout out any locations, see if there are any good new subjects so that when I come back and there are good conditions, I can get some good shots. You hear that? It's a woodpecker. So there are plenty of good things on the horizon with my channel. Uh, we're working on converting a camper van and um, that should be done at least by the end of May, fingers crossed. And I think that's going to open up quite a few doors uh, with the channel. It'll mean that I can go to places say on a Friday night, stay over and I can get up quite easily in the morning for sunrise without having to make that big journey from home. I also really want to do some astrophotography, so I think it's going to help with that as well. It means I can just pitch up somewhere and all I really need to do is just get out the van. I'll already have my location set up and uh, I can get a good shot. So yeah, looking forward to doing that. I've been wanting to do astro for a long time, but it just seems something that's quite difficult to do for, <laughs> to make a video out of. But I'm determined to get it done. So stay tuned for that later this year. Come on, notice we'll go this way. And I do want to do some kind of indoor stuff, um, maybe portrait with um, studio flashes, or I did some band photography recently. Um, so something like that would be good. Again, it's a little bit more to plan. You can't just jump out of the back door and do it, you've got to hire somewhere and get all the equipment there and get models and things like that but something I do definitely want to do and something I haven't done yet We're also going to Norway on a cruise at the end of April not how I'd usually travel, <laughs> I 
uh, especially if I'm going to do any videos but he's been booked a long time uh, to celebrate a birthday and that's going to bring some challenges with it as well when it comes to making a video which I do plan to do uh, I'm taking my camera and hopefully my drone as well but obviously you only get a limited amount of time when you call at places but hopefully there'll be some opportunities to make at least one or two videos there and it'll be nice to see something different to the UK some spectacular scenery that I've seen online so yeah fingers crossed um, that's going to be a good one and we will be making a trip uh, sometime later in the year well, we're not 100% sure where yet uh, could be in the UK if we've got the van ready uh, could be in Europe somewhere but either way I'll be taking the camera and getting some good videos so it's not just going to be local areas um, I do hope to get, get around the country and also abroad this year I've never done a video in the Lake District and I'd really like to <laughs> so yeah with the van I'm hoping that uh, the Lake District will be on the cards later this year maybe in autumn that'd be great There are one or two cool trees just down here and I am tempted to get the camera out but I'm sticking to the plan, I'm not, I'm not going to take any photos just for today uh, I think they'll look better as we start getting to spring get a little bit of foliage on them might just be a little bit more interesting but yeah, I'm going to remember this spot here though All right, so that's about it for this one. I guess it's a fairly short one. And uh, yeah, once again, sorry, there's no photos this week. Um, but it just wasn't gonna work at short notice. I've actually got to get back. <laughs> I'm working in about an hour. So I've got to get home, start work. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for watching everyone. And um, next week will be a proper video. So please tune in for that one. If you're new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed and you want to do that you can just click down there on the big red button and uh, that way you'll stay up to date with everything I'm doing each and every week because there's a new video every Sunday morning at 10am UK time. So I hope you'll join me next week for the next one but until then thanks a lot and see you later everyone.